Alright, should be ready now. Confirm to buy. Yes. Woohoo! Hi guys, Stanley here. So you are ready to start your first brokerage account. Great. Here's how you can create one in less than 5 minutes. First, you need a brokerage account because you need to use it to buy and sell shares. There's two main options here. You can either have a normal brokerage account or what we call a nominee account. Let's start with how to create a normal account. In this scenario, you'll need two things. A central depository account or a CDP account and your brokerage account. Luckily, both can be created from your brokerage. But you need to be at least 18 years of age to create a personal account. A central depository account or a CDP account is sort of like a safe deposit box for your Singapore listed shares. This account is linked directly to the Singapore exchange. In the olden days, you will be given a real certificate when you invest in a share. However, today everything is stored digitally and your Singapore local shares will be parked in a CDP account. So when you buy a share, you buy it through your broker, but after that, the shares will be parked in a CDP account. This means that you can use one broker to buy the share and use another broker to sell the share at a later date. And choosing the right brokerage to start your first account can be confusing. So here's a link for you to compare among the brokerage in Singapore. Some of the things that you might want to consider is of course, number one, the cost structure of the brokerage. Number two, which markets does the brokerage allow you to access to? And also number three, the ease of use of the platform itself that the brokerage is providing. But what I will say is because brokerage is such a competitive market, most of the brokerage are now offering very similar service level and cost structure. And when you're ready to sign up, here are some of the documents that you might need for the submission. Just give your brokerage a call and they will prepare the necessary forms for you. During this point, you might be asked to choose between a cash account and a margin account. A margin account is basically an account where you can borrow funds from your brokerage when you're trading stocks. While a cash account is one that you have to deposit your cash into the account first before you can make your first trade. If you're just starting out as a new investor, I would strongly encourage you to just start with a cash account. This is because managing a margin account can be dangerous if you do not know the risk behind it. So when in doubt, go with cash. Another type of account that you can create is what we call a nominee account. Another name for it might be custodian account. This is an account where everything, including your Singapore shares, are stored in the brokerage account. One of the key advantage of having a nominee account is that you get to see your entire portfolio in one statement, rather than having a statement from both CDP and also your brokerage account. I personally use a nominee account when investing, and since the sponsor of our video for today is FSM1, I'll go through with you on how you can create an account fully online with them. When you're at fsm1.com, just click on open an account. I will click on I am a new customer and I will want a new personal account. Next, if you have SingPass, all you need to do is to select this and click on the tick. Enter in your SingPass and you're done. Your account will be ready. It is that simple. But if you do not have SingPass, you can still fill up your information manually. You can fill in your details and remember to put in our referral code to earn you 1000 reward points. Double check on your details, just upload some supporting documents and click submit. The approval process generally takes about one day. Once you get your email confirmation, you can log into your account. Your account is now ready, but before you can start trading, you'll need to deposit in some cash. You can do that by going into the support tab and clicking on making payments. Here, you'll see all the details on how you can transfer fund into the account. The transfer is instant. And once you've done that, you're ready to buy your first stock. Easy as pie. See, we've time to spare. Anyway, that's it from me. 
If you like the video, please tap on the like button. And if you find it useful, I hope you share it as well. Remember, you can subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to get notified on our next video. My name is Stanley. Till we meet again, invest safely. Bye.